British Columbia, Prince George, nice, nice place, yeah. Prince George, wonderful city, good, nice place to spend your time. It's like the greatest city in the world. It's got a nice, lot of good stuff. Prince George, it is my favorite place in the world, and I like it very much. A nice city. A big city, located in the British Columbia. They got a nice educational system, teaching the kids all about the world. They got lots of other cool stuff like Mr. PG, yeah, Mr. PG. Prince George, good city, oh yeah. Go to the library, borrow a book and then bring it back before it's due or else you got to pay a fine. Prince George, Prince George, oh yeah, Highway 97. Prince George, Prince George, la 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 la. This time in BC Legacy, the parks of Prince George, we investigate Nechaco Riverside Park, located in Prince George, British Columbia, Canada. When in nature, how much of your adventure depends on the weather? Do you depend on your own water supplies when the sun is shining? Will the path before you be easy to traverse? Are there any hazards you need to be wary of as you travel the area? What treasure troves of nature will you find and explore? Where is the park located and what are the local surroundings? Why is it important to make sure the park is accessible for all to use? How did the street artist get to the wall to create their own? Who was Alexander Hoff, and why is his name on this bench? Do you feel safe exploring the trails of the park? Why aren't you invited to this gathering of the butterflies? Nechaco Riverside Park is located on the riverbanks of the Nechaco. It is located by a busy artery of traffic. The park is 13.3 acres of riverside land transitioned from natural dirt bike paths to a formal park in 2021. Nechaco River originates from north of Kitimat on the west coast to travel 321 miles to join the Great Fraser River. The park's main pathways are made of coarse gravel, allowing easy passage and traction for safety. Adventure pathways that did not receive the gravel treatment are compact soil with telltale signs of their dirt bike use. 
A quick scan of the area shows the elevation you face when you initially enter the park. It can be quite an emotional experience to walk the path under a midday windy reality. With the safety of unforgiving stone, the path to the open park area provides shelter from the chilly wind. For those that wish not to traverse the track to the landing below, a picnic area by the parking lot is available. The trails that lead off of the prior dirt bike paths are always available for those that tend to not follow the main stream. Be careful of the elevation drop on the paths. The paths were meant for dirt bikes, not the clumsy. The long grasses hide not only the path, but the smaller plants underneath. This raspberry bush struggles to grow big, as to not be trampled by the travelers. With the sky above broadcasting indecision as to which weather event it will give freely, even the clouds do not know what will happen next. The waters of the Nechaco rise higher and higher, showing signs of flood season for the lengthy river. The areas lucky enough to avoid redevelopment to the park provide some shade for visitors and local fauna. The tears of the sky climb up the legs of the bridge overhead, bringing the threat of washout ever closer. This handmade bridge found off the beaten path has provided hours of entertainment for the brave dirt bike enthusiasts. Signs of log collection and home building can be seen under the bridge by the local beavers. Nocturnal by nature, beavers will seek refuge within. This open area provides the perfect place for the kids to run and the dogs to explore whatever interests them. The parking lot entrance provides an amenity for respite and personal time. Let's be honest, the kids will wait to the bottom of the hill to use it. The forest janitor, Thatch Ants, ready to clean up any spectacular mess that can be made. The party of swallowtail butterflies fight against the wind and decide to land.
Signs of the beaver gnawing on the bark of soft trees, desperately seeking relief from their ever-growing teeth. Beaver sign is not isolated to the area by water. Further into the park, the beaver nibbles on one of the few remaining trees. We missed the western tiger swallowtail butterflies, so let's enjoy them some more. can be a strong motivator, as can be seen with this rock spider, too afraid to move and attract attention. The humble bumblebee does not care if the flowers have been picked or not, free to explore and gather the nectar for its hive. Birch trees lucky enough to survive the progress of land development stretch for the sky. The ponderosa pine grows to explore the new world around. The bitter cherry bush will provide food for the birds as the season's growth continues. There is a reason they are called bitter. Chalk cherry bush, seemingly meant for the birds, often comes second to the malicious tent caterpillar. Bird cherry tree, used primarily as decoration in North America, seems to have found a permanent home in this newly developed park. This Lewis mock orange, an invasive species to BC, seems to have been missed by the construction crew. California rhododendron, a common roadside plant in BC, brings life to the embankment. It is a shame it also poisons the hives of bees. Lilac bush, the common scourge that brings yearly allergy sufferers to their knees. Velvet foot poison pie, like the name suggests, are poisonous. Do not touch. Northern maiden hair fern, a common plant found by the river, not to be confused with broccoli.
The Chaco Riverside Park was created in 2021 as a redevelopment of previous dirt bike trails. The park was created as a project originating from the city's 2017 park strategy. It's time to revisit today's adventure. What city does Nachaco Riverside Park reside in? The city Nachaco Riverside Park resides in is Prince George. Is Nachaco Riverside Park easily accessible by those with mobility challenges? The park is easily accessible by those with mobility challenges due to its wide gravel pathways with a mild slope. Which animal is responsible for eating this tree? The beaver is responsible for eating this tree. What insect is seen in this image? The Western Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. What type of bush is shown? This is the lilac bush. What artifact remains that was used by the dirt bikers before the park was created? The artifact is a handmade wooden bridge. What type of insect makes its home in this choke cherry bush? The tent caterpillar makes its home in the choke cherry bush. When was the Chaco Riverside Park opened? The Chaco Riverside Park was opened in 2021. Do you check the ground before you step forward? Yes, I do now. Tune in next time as we explore the beauty of Bittner Park. Toodaloo!